one of the things that I, I often find with, with a lot of black gay men, I think I'm probably the only black gay man I know who had a good relationship with his father. Um, I find very, very few black gay men actually, you know, say, mm. I'm my father. Oh, hello. How were you with yours? Yeah, same here. I had a good, it was, it was tempestuous. It went through a tempestuous um, patch, but that was really down to me finding myself. I was the, I was definitely the, um, the one pushing the boundaries, but I think that was good because, um, because it meant that I, I felt that I could push those boundaries. And I don't know about you, but a lot of the, um, the, a lot of my friends, my black friends, their fathers, not, well, I would say pretty much most of them, their fathers were, were seen as quite aggressive. It was like the, the, he, that person was the, the man with the belt and the disciplinarian and the one that would dish out that. And that's if he was present at all. But my experience with my dad was completely different because he was our main carer for a lot of my growing up because my mum was a nurse and she did shift work. So it was my dad who was getting us up, getting us dressed, getting us fed. Um, he was doing all of that for the vast majority of my um, time at school, which was, you look, you look back on it now and you think, God, that's a bit weird and a bit unusual. But for me, it was like, um, that's what happened. He was, more, he was way the calmer person. He was way the more steadfast and way the more open and more progressive and relaxed person. Yeah, he was he was great. I do miss him. <laughs> so at what age were you pushing, you know, pushing the boat, as you said, or pushing, you know? Probably about 14, where it was more about me wanting to get a reaction from him, really. It was more about me... I was fighting against his kind of calmness. All those things that right. with hindsight, you think actually they're the things that have made me the person I am. They're the things that, they're the things that have made me um, secure in being who I want to be. Um, they're the things that have allowed me or given me the, the room to not let anyone pigeonhole me is his, calm his reason and his openness but i went through a, a stage of of um well, yeah going i want you to show me something i want you to be angry at something i want you um to be it's a bit weird i want you to be what that stereotype but he never was and he never you know he was like okay you <laughs> you carry on, you say what you need to say, you Love do what chest. you need to do. I'll be over there watching cricket, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and when you've finished, <laughs> when you've finished mashing up your bedroom, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, you can put it back together again. <laughs>